Uh, hi, what's up everyone? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter blog, also known as the Chatty Pen Pal channel. And today I have a super fun new pen pal with me tutorial because we will be making an envelope stack. Click, click. Now, the first thing I'm going to tell you is, um, or I'm going to show you basically, is all of the supplies I'm working with. I'm mainly working with a paper collection called Bloom Street. I absolutely love it because it has all the florals and all of the pastel colors. Um, and what I did is I purchased a few of the papers on this website called Craftelier, but everything was sold out. So I also printed a lot of the supplies myself. You can purchase a digital collection um, of this this kit as well over on AC Digitals. None of this is sponsored, it's just good to know. Uh, AC Digitals and then you can print them yourself. So I fussy cut all of the die cuts and then I have the papers. And the first thing I did, like I said, is I showed you all of my supplies. And then the next thing I'm going to do is make uh, five, was it five, one, two, three, four, five? Yeah, five different envelopes, all in different sizes. I will also mention the sizes I've used in the description box down below in case you're thinking of replica replicating my exact meal. But as you can see, I basically just made them a tad smaller every time because an envelope stack is literally that you have um, different sized envelopes and you stick them together uh, and it sounds very boring but it's actually really really fun and then you decorate uh, the tops of the envelopes and I also decorated the insides a little bit so that it would be a fun and cohesive project. So like I said first thing I did is make five little envelopes and then you could stick them um, directly onto each other but I decided to go a little bit playful so I would almost call it messily like I just messily stick them together one is tilted a little bit to the left the other one tilted a little bit to the right just so that it doesn't look too perfect it literally looks like you've thrown a bunch of envelopes onto a pile um, but then more fun of course and I love projects like this especially because even though I did use certain types of measurements for the envelopes there is so much freedom in this if you want different size envelopes that's all good i mean if you you can just work with the envelopes you have and all as well there's no rules you can't really mess this up which is like the best part the only thing you do have to keep in mind which is something that i'm not great at is that you of course sorry for my head in the frame you of course need to make sure that you can still open the envelopes because otherwise what's the point <laughs> so that's what i'm doing here i just want to clarify this video is sped up quite a bit like this clip right here is sped up two times the rest of them are either five six or seven times at least uh, because i worked on this project for quite a few hours and i do want this to be kind of a not an hour long video but same as what I said just now just keep in mind that this is a very free project if you can't follow directly what I'm doing don't worry about it because I didn't follow a tutorial either and mine turned out absolutely incredible so just look at this as guidelines uh, I mean you're of course you're more than welcome to f like follow all the steps but I would really like to encourage you just to do what um, feels good <laughs> what feels right at the moment so if you don't want to decorate the first envelope that's all good I just wanted to because I made as you can see I made I printed a paper on I printed a illustration on this vellum page but then I glued the envelope together with double-sided tape and you could see that through the vellum. So I was quite keen on really covering up those glue lines because I don't like the way that looks. I'm even covering it up with my head right now. I'm sorry, I promise it will get better. Um, but I just covered that up entirely because I didn't like the way it looked. I love the idea of a vellum envelope. I just didn't keep in mind the adhesive would be so visible through it. Uh, and then I am, oh, in this video, I'm also going to show you how I not just decorate but fill all the envelopes as well i want to oh i forgot to mention this but the reason why i'm making this video is because of one of my patrons you may or may not know but i have more socials than just a uh, youtube 
don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you don't already. I'm really trying to make an effort to do better with sharing um, videos and stuff like that there. So follow me on Instagram. Um, but I also have a Patreon account. Um, Patreon is basically a website where you can subscribe for a month or for two months or for however long you please and then you get extra content. Um, my lowest tier is one euro and fifty cents a month and the highest tier is three euros a month and you get like I said, behind the scenes and extra videos and stuff like that. And you can unsubscribe anytime you like. And I asked my patrons, hey, um, do you have any video requests? And one of my patrons said, I would love to see you make an envelope stack. So at first I was like, what the heck is an envelope stack? I was like, I make envelope stacks all the time because I, I love folding my own envelopes. But then I tried to look up a couple of tutorials and I got the basic idea. Uh, and what I also liked about this is that there were not a whole lot of videos about this online yet. I mean, I filmed this a couple months ago, so probably now I'm already behind again. But I love... Yeah, I don't know. I loved the idea of be of doing something that was somewhat original for a change. <laughs> I mean, of course, I try to come up with my own ideas as well every now and then. It's not about being original. It's just about having fun. But it is nice to have a, a new idea every once in a while. It's not my idea, obviously. Anywho, I'm rambling on and on and on. I'm just going to tell you what I've been doing so far. Um, I received these adorable little mini swatch book, like one by one paper pads uh, from my friend Chris, also from Bloom Street. And I just decided to stick to on the flap of the envelope to cover up again that glue. And I really like the way that looks also, it kind of shows you that it is that you can open it and then I decorated it some more with some of the floral and butterfly elements that I had hand cut um, because you can print them yourself I of course printed the ones I love numerous times like 20 times or something so I don't have to feel guilty about using them at all and I'm going to like I said fill the envelopes a little bit later step by step, you know, step by step. <laughs> I really liked these little swatch books because you just get a tiny piece of a print that you can use for background, which is also what I'm doing here. Um, I, at first I thought I wasn't going to decorate all of the flaps of the envelope, like the inside of the flap of the envelope, but then I slowly started realizing that it's actually really, really fun to do. So the next one I again decorated with one of those mini pieces of paper and then these uh, this die cut that is basically little bags of flower seeds. I think it's so adorable and so applicable as well because when I was making this meal we were also busy working in the garden, you know, prepping it for summer and I have planted quite a bunch of floral seeds in a little planter and I'm hoping to move them to the actual garden sometime this month. In June, I mean. <laughs> Um, because, you know, I, I absolutely love flowers. I don't think I have to clarify that. Um, the main thing we planted is uh, like a, a butterfly and bee friendly wild flower mix. And I'm so excited to see how they grow. All of them have sprouted already. I just, you know, there's no flowers yet. So I have no idea what we'll be getting. It's a little bit of a surprise. Uh, so I'm gonna continue. I'm just gonna, you know, hop from story to telling you what I'm doing in the background, which is kind of my usual style. I'm also particularly chatty today, so I hope that's okay with all of you. What I've done is I, I also have washi type, the matching washi type. My friend Chris, um, she was my partner in one of the Patreon craft club swaps we did one time. And instead of just meeting the swap requirements, she filled a box with gorgeous things, including a lot of supplies from Bloom Street because she knows I'm absolutely obsessed with that. And she included some washi types. So I'm using them to decorate today as well. I have this little... Um, this little 
quote card that says hey lady and then it has a little ladybug on there which I think is absolutely adorable um, and I just stuck that on top of another little one by one card with some washi tape and then I'm just adding some little touches here and there that's my first envelope is going to be a bag of tea or the second one actually because it doesn't fit in the first one <laughs> I forgot I wonder what I put in the first one we will see and then I also fussy cut all of these tiny elements such as little butterflies and little hearts and I just use them to decorate I mean obviously to add just little touches here and there story about ladybugs um we have we had actually a problem in our garden with all of these little i don't know what they're called called like worms or little flies basically little flies i'm just gonna call them little flies little insects that were eating um our butterfly plants i don't know what they're called in english but basically little flies little insects eating away at our growing plants and you can of course buy these are they called pesticides you know like basically poison you can poison the little insects to kill them which works but it's also bad for the environment so we found an eco-friendly solution which is to actually purchase little um baby ladybugs i don't know what they're called like the little worms that turn into ladybugs at some point so that's what we did we bought these mini ladybugs because they are like the natural enemy of these insects they eat all of them now our plants are bug free and we see all of these tiny little ladybugs around the garden i'm quite pleased i mean it's a win-win because ladybugs are so much fun i know they can sting but they're quite harmless if you know you know not to bother them of course and they're really adorable so I just wanted to share that with you a little bit of an eco-friendly solution and also quite fun so the next thing I'm doing is something I saw my pen pal Cheryl do she used a little eyelet uh, on one of her projects she sent me to hang a little dangly charm like a key ring on her envelope and I decided that would also look really really cute with this particular project so I just used my crocodile still hate that word my crocodile to punch an eyelet I will link everything down below if I can um, to punch an eyelet and then I'm going to make a little I don't know what to call it like not necessarily a key ring but just like a little dangly bit so I have an adorable little wooden cloud <laughs> that has a hole in the middle so then you can put the thread th you can put the thread through that's a tongue twister and then I also received these uh, pastel colored coins in a patreon swap as well and I had I made um, a little how do you call these things like a little charm dangly something with all of these little miniature beads so I, I i didn't do that on camera because it literally took me like half an hour to put all of the little beads on the string but it's quite relaxing so <laughs> all as well but of course i'm not going to show you that because that would have been uh, quite boring footage and then i have a feather that i got from action a long long time ago and i'm just making a charm with the feather and the cloud and i don't know this story is not necessarily interesting but i realized lately that people like it when i explain what i'm doing and why i'm doing it so that's what i'm trying to do it always feels a little bit silly but basically what i'm doing is i'm just combining multiple dangly bits and beads and and things like that coin and the cloud to create kind of an eye catcher on the side of the envelope just to add some interest to it and uh, just like shakers it's just fun to play with you know it just adds kind of a wow effect <laughs> i think i i'm like a combination of a toddler and a magpie whenever something is shimmery and shiny i just go wow so i hoped that the receiver would like this as well um so i just hung all of them on a little ring and then i realized that i couldn't actually fit the ring through the hole that's what i'm realizing here it's like uh oh i'm not gonna make it so what i ended up doing is i trimmed a little bit of the paper to make it work and there we go dangly bits this made me so happy um it's kind of silly 
and if you're not like a paper crafter you'll probably think I'm very childish but I don't care because I think it's cute um, I forgot to say, I haven't even told you this yet, but this meal went to Chris, the lady who sent me the box of goodies. I, she sent me mainly the majority of the Bloom Street supplies I have, and I knew I had to make a project with it for her, not necessarily as a thank you, but just because I, I felt that she would hopefully like the goodies as well obviously I mean she purchased them herself so I figured um, she would like them and I just felt so inspired to work with all of these I uh, couldn't wait to work with some of that um, this was me making a, a floral cluster like I said I printed and cut all of these numerous times so I just layered a bunch of them up and just stuck them on a page with some double-sided foam type and then I also have these foam stickers. I actually got them from my pen pal Cheryl who purchased, a, she purchased a lot of the stickers and everything and then she told me that she was kind of like done with Bloom Street. She didn't feel inspired by it and she knew I loved it so she just sent me the remainder of her goodies. <laughs> I'm very spoiled by all of these people. Um, of course I'm happy to have them and happy to use them so I have some puffy stickers and those um, like tiny word stickers and these washi type strips as well. Cute, cute, cute. So what you saw me do about a minute ago is just I made some letter writing paper. I didn't make it. I had some letter writing paper, letter writing paper and then I just decorated it with some of the washi tape as well. And don't worry if this goes fast. I do have a clip showing you every envelope in detail up close at the end of this. Um, but it's just if I have to show every single one of them in between the whole time, it takes away... It takes a lot of time <laughs> so I'm just gonna continue going uh, and this is an envelope with an adorable little oh what is that called watering can yes watering can a watering can <laughs> and like I said it was quite fun because we were actually so busy with watering cans and seed packets and stuff ourselves <laughs> it felt like uh, the right moment to work on this meal so I have I have two different types of uh, cut aparts. I have the ones I printed myself and I also have the ones that I cut from a 12 by 12 sheet. So if you see any color differences, it's because I'm mixing the printed ones with the real deal. And then for some reason I found a piece of book page, a scrap of book page, and I decided it looked nice, so I just added that. <laughs> just to add a little touch of my own, you know, I love using book pages here and there. Although I did only use I think I mainly or only used the Bloom Street goodies. It still really felt like my project, even though, um, you know, it's so much matching goodies. I don't know. For some reason, I, I sometimes whenever I'm working with one collection only, I feel like I lose my creativity because it's all the same. But with this, I just felt like everything clicked. I worked on this project, like I said, for a couple of hours. Uh, on camera as well as off camera because sometimes for example when my battery dies I will continue uh, working or mapping out what I want where and then I will just stick them down on camera so even if you don't see it on camera I do work on these for quite a long time but even having said that this project came together so quickly because I just Ah, even like talking about this makes me smile. I know it may make me sound superficial because of everything that's going on in the world, but these kind of things just happy, instant happiness, you know? I just, um, yeah, just makes me, brings me some peace of mind. Um, so I, I did want to tell you that, I suppose. And this is me having uh, filled all of the pockets so this is everything I included wash uh, wax seals of course you can carefully peel them off of the tag and actually use them is what I'm showing you here of course I had to include some then I also included a whole bunch of labels in the second pocket I think I did put the tea in the first pocket now if I'm not mistaken did I oh, I forgot then I also have some letter writing paper. I included one of those Note and Wish washi type samples. I got the Note and Wish box a little while ago. It doesn't match this collection at all, but I know that 
for Chris being in the USA. It's not something that you can get your hands on easily. So I thought I would share <laughs> some of that. And then I also made a little miniature matchbook, mini matchbook with some handmade paper and uh, some paper from my brand wrap package. And I just filled the pocket up with washi tape stickers. If you want to know how I made that pocket, I have um, a quick tutorial on that in the video. Uh, do it yourself pen pal goodies made from paper scraps but I also have a tutorial for a bigger version coming up sometime soon just waiting for it to be received first so just a little matchbook and I thought it fit in the envelope quite nicely so that's that <laughs> and just wrote uh, washi tape stickers on there uh, washi tape stickers are my obsession i share them with everyone same as labels i have so many i feel guilty keeping them all for myself so i'm just sharing them and then in the last pocket i'm going to add some um tags i die cut i am doing a collaboration with this shop called in love art shop and they s i got to choose a couple of dies including this one i think it's really fun because you can use it for like uh decorating obviously but you can also write a message on the inside or turn it into a shaker, stuff like that. So I wanted to share some with Chris. Um, I will link it down below in case you want to check it out. I also have a discount code, yippee! <laughs> Who doesn't love discount codes? And I just decided to die cut some. I die cut some on regular paper, I die cut some on vintage paper, and I die cut some on some uh, pink paisley. These are all pink paisley papers as well from various collections I'm just trying to figure out how best to put them into the pocket yep so I'm just stuffing that because it's nice and flat and I also think it's original because uh, I'm 99% sure that uh, she doesn't have these particular dies and these particular papers so then of course it's kind of a fun gift I also die cut some of the heart envelopes. Everyone always loves the heart envelopes. <laughs> I got them off of AliExpress a long time ago. It's a, a die as well. So I just add some of those in there and I add some tickets and some other mini envelopes. Just stuff like that, you know, just like little things because uh, I think that you will always come in handy. So that is the last pocket. The last pocket, yes. Um, we're out of frame. That's it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I loved making this. I loved sending this to Chris. I loved seeing her reaction. I loved making this video and sharing this with you. Um, I want to thank my patrons, of course, for always, first of all, supporting the channel because without you, I wouldn't have my new camera. I wouldn't have my new setup and everything like that, but also for inspiring me to try out new things because this envelope stack is definitely going to be a staple in my repertoire from now on. <laughs> I'm definitely going to make another one. If you end up making one, I would love to see it. You can tag me on Instagram or TikTok or whatever else have you. And of course, use the hashtag, the paper letter blog, because every now and then I will share all of the pictures that are in that hashtag. And I love looking at them. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're all doing amazing. I will talk to you again soon. And... Uh, stay crafty <laughs> okay bye